everybody, it's me, Jen, and it is my favorite time of the month. It is the time where we do the December money forecast. If you're interested in what your love life is going to look like in December, I already did the love forecast, and you can find that in the cards, but now we're going to be talking about the green. So what I want you to do is just focus on these three decks of cards and just think about which one is calling your name, which one you feel the most drawn to. And we're going to do all of these readings. I have everything time stamped. So if you want to know what yours is later on, you don't have to watch the whole video, though you might enjoy the whole video. <laughs> Some people like to, um, but everything is time stamped. So this is deck number one. This is deck number two. This is deck number three. We're going to move two and three on the side, and we're going to focus on deck number one. Let's see what deck number one is going to have in store. Wow. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a hard month for you. I feel like in the beginning of December, possibly end of November, there's going to be a bit of a calamity. Uh, I feel expenses. I feel... Um, things breaking down, you know, it was Mercury retrograde, so that could be possibly why, but I definitely feel, sorry, just moving my microphone a little bit, but I feel really strongly that you've suffered a loss. Let's just say it like that. And it was pretty, pretty substantial and stressful. And so you're feeling kind of under the gun. You're going to really have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. This month is going to really depend on how you look at things and what you put your energy into. If you put your energy into complaining and being upset, guess what? You're going to have a crappy month. If you put your energy into manifesting and being positive and really focusing in on what you want and looking for those little gems and those little opportunities, things are going to get better. It's really going to matter how you see it. Don't let this destroy you. Don't let this get to you. Yes, it happened. Yes, it sucks move forward focus on what you do have going for you focus on you know maybe letting people in letting people help you it's not easy for you because you don't like to accept help you like to be the one who helps but this may have to this may be a lesson for you this month what i do see is that in the end of the day things are going to work out you're going to get opportunities your finances are going to rebound by the end of the month you are going to be in the black and you're going to be in a much better place. Things are going to start to come full circle. And it will all look like it, it happened for a reason. It will all look like it was some grand plan. So even though it's scary at the beginning of the month, it's going to be okay. Just keep remembering that. If you, if you put your energy in the right place, you're going to be golden. All right, my babies. This is deck number two. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> the first thing that I see when I look at these cards is an inheritance. Um, I feel like coming into money, coming into money from family, I see that there's some struggles. In, like I feel like you're independent, like you're able to take care of yourself. You know, you're not, you, nobody's supporting you. You're your own person. You're making your own decisions. But I feel like there's money coming your way. I just feel it. I don't feel like this is from a business. I feel like this is from family. Um, maybe it's this ancestry card. But I, I feel really strongly that there's money coming your way. Um, I feel like it's not just like Christmas money. Like, you know, how like your grandpa is going to give you like 20 bucks for Christmas. It's not that. It's something bigger. There's something being handed to you. You're entrusted with a legacy. This is going to be a very big month for you. I feel like, you know, you're okay now. You're not really struggling or anything. You're kind of just making do. You're not great, but you're making do. But hey, there's a responsibility that's going to be brought upon you. Money is definitely part of it. It may not be the only part of it. There may be money and a business. I, I see you taking on more than what you anticipate. I feel like it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be scary, but I feel it's going to be a good thing. But definitely money is coming your way, and that money is going to be attached to something else. And I, I keep getting the word legacy and building on something. All right, you guys, this is deck number three. Um, I feel like this Christmas you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be getting help financially. Um, I feel like it, it may not be that somebody hands you a wad of cash, but I feel like somebody is going to come into your life to help you sort your life out. Um, I'm feeling like this is somebody that you trust 
and I feel like it's somebody that you know, somebody that I, I'm. It could be a family member. I feel more that it's somebody that's a friend. I feel like this is somebody that you've known for like a hundred years and has been in your life and been around you, but you just never knew this aspect of them. And I feel like you're going to be shocked and shook about this person and what they can do for you. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I didn't know you knew this. Oh my God, I didn't know you had these connections. Oh my God. And it's going to be like a miracle. Your little angel is coming through for you this month. And even though you've been struggling and you've been kind of going through a lot and things have been rough and you've been kind of banging your head against the wall, somebody is going to show you the light. This is going to be a turnaround time and you're going to get help. And it's not really help that you're going to get because you're asking for it. It's more, I mean, you're asking for it in a way where you're like mon manifesting it, but you don't have to like beat down everybody's door and go through your address book and call everybody you know. It's just going to come through in the most beautiful, miraculous way. And I feel like this person is going to be in some ways your soul twin you know obviously not romantically but somebody that is going to really get you and understand you and has been where you've been and will be able to really help guide you and if you if you if you take their advice which you may not like to be very honest with you if you take their advice you're going to really be happy this is going to be a whole new pathway for you whatever you're trying to do they're going to take what you're trying to do and and kind of flip it in a new direction that is going to be very magical and very powerful. So I feel like you're going to get a great opportunity. You just have to be willing to take that chance, which I feel you will be because what the cards are showing me is that you and this person are going to really jive and connect and there won't be much of a struggle there. It's just going to be very easy. But the, the stress and the banging your head against the wall is all going to come to an end soon. You're going to find somebody who is really going to literally take you by the hand and give you instructions. So that's kind of a good thing. Somebody that you least suspect. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Three, two, one. Alright you guys, that has been your money forecast for the month of December. Like I said, if you're interested in the love, you can check that out in the cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up because it helps me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can connect with you guys in better ways. Also, if you think a friend of yours would like this video, share it with them because that would make me feel good. And I deserve a Christmas present. Um, so thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Take care.